Hello and welcome back here to Eurovision 365. You know what? It's so great to have you here and thanks for pressing that play. I watched the Junior Eurovision back in 2004. I've not watched it since then, I'm sad to say, until this year, but I'm so glad to be reacting to the songs taking part at Junior Eurovision 2022. Speaking of the Junior Eurovision in 2004, I really loved the song that won, and coincidentally, it was a song from Spain which translates into English as I'd rather be dead than understated. A pretty deep subject indeed, and I was just checking the info on that song prior to recording this reaction video, and the performer, Maria Isabel, was just nine years old when she took part in 2004, and one of course as I say. I see that Maria Isabel is all grown up now as you'd expect so just goes to prove that time really does fly. Anyway enough of my nostalgic trip it's time to bring myself and you back to the year 2022. That kind of rhymes doesn't it? <laughs> so I am of course reacting to the song that is representing Spain in Yerevan next month. It's being performed by a young lad called Carlos Eges. The song is called Senorita. This is my genuine first time watching and reacting to the song. The song title suggests it might be up tempo, but there's only one way to really find out, isn't there? Shall we do this? I think we should. Let's press play! Senorita! Yay! Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm pressing play. Here we go. How's this going to sound? Well, find out soon. Now, Senorita is called Carlos Iguez. Again, I'm so sorry if I've got that wrong. Okay, so. So, kind of Ricky Martin start there. The flamenco ish. Carlos is a great wee dancer, great little dancer. So he's wanting the senorita to dance with him. I guess that's the senorita he's talking about and d singing about. From Valencia to Ibiza. Okay. Up tempo, like I thought. Oh, okay, it's building, it's building, it's building, is it? Okay. There's the la 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 again. Remember Maciel from last video? <laughs> we all say uh, Maciel even from Spain in 1968. She sang la 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 138 times. Anyway, back to 2022. Nice bass uh, guitar coming in there or bass sound coming through there. Electronic bass, of course. More the flamenco -y guitar sound as well. This couldn't be from anywhere from Spain. It couldn't be from anywhere but Spain. I'm all tongue tied. It's the up tempo beat, I think, that's doing it. Of course, Spain had an amazing, amazing result this year at Eurovision. Chanel returned to a hero's welcome, didn't she? Good to see that she did come back to a hero's welcome after, you know, what happened. <laughs> it's a summer of love, okay. Okay, Carlos is keeping going. Again, singing entirely in Spanish, which is what I really want to hear, to be fair. Dance, dance, senorita, turn up, turn, turn it up. Oh, that's a nice, the trumpet sound. The music is never ending. Well, it better end before a reasonable time in Yerevan. <laughs> You'd be in trouble, but doesn't. <laughs> I'm gonna have a core uh, change, core change. I don't think so. 
Don't need, don't need one. Lots of energy, it's going the whole whole time. Carlos hasn't stopped. Lots of energy. Oh, and a fantastic little guitar piece to end that song. And the song has ended, do you see? You do have to end singing at some point, don't you? But uh, yeah, fair play to Spain. That was um, a fair effort indeed. Now, Carlos, I guess he will be hoping to win at the Eurovision, Junior Eurovision, next month in Europe. And now, Spain, I was just checking as well, have been at Junior Eurovision just eight times. I thought there was actually more, but eight times. And of course, one in on the second Junior Eurovision. So can they win next month? Who knows? But uh, what is my rating for this song? Okay, I'm going to rate this song a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. There's a lot of energy, there is a lot of energy, and that will require a lot of energy. I'm sure he's, he's full of energy, he looks like he is, and I'm sure it would be no problem to him whatsoever on stage. What's your thoughts on that? Are you upset with me? Do you think it should be a higher score? Do you think it should be lower? If you know what to do, whether you agree or disagree, I want to hear from you. So please do let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. And I hope, I hope that you will continue to join me as I react to the remaining songs that are left at Junior Eurovision. I think there's a fair few to go yet. But anyway, um, I will be reacting to them as I say genuine first time watching and listening so uh, yeah please do join me for that if you can but until then you take care and i'll see you in the next video take care